what's going on guys welcome back to the lifestyle this video is going to be pretty short um i took my driver's test today and i have some tips that may help you guys pass yours or know what to do when you're getting there and all that stuff things that i looked up that i couldn't find or i guess like forgot to ask the driver's education or all that stuff so i'm gonna run through those tips i have video footage of what i did at the mva um and then there's gonna be some more stuff we talk about at the end of the video but um yeah that's about it just some tips to go through and then the video so let's get into that so the first thing you want to do is confirm with your driver's education that they submitted your name to wherever for me the mba uh to take your test because when i first got there the lady said oh my name wasn't in the system so we had to call the education place and the education place called the manager and they said you're perfectly in everything is right they did something wrong recheck so we had to go back and recheck and it was right and the lady made some type of error so just make sure a week before make sure you have that and it says oh, okay i'm in you did something wrong so you check your stuff that'll make things easier so you don't end up leaving like i did and calling and coming back that's just the easy tip for you guys next thing to make sure you have with you is car insurance car registration you got to make sure the tags aren't expired or that the car is working properly all that stuff make sure all that's good to go but make sure you have your parents they have their driver's license and stuff like that or whoever you're going with make sure they have their license you need your learner's permit and your rookie book and the page that you it's like a little bit after the log um, for me it's page 26 27 make sure those pages are signed and you take the book with you so you can rip out those pages and give to the lady um, yeah make sure your practice log is also filled out so you have that information there and that's about it for the tips you need registration license learner's permit page 27 signed everything ready to go and yeah um, if you wear glasses, make sure you have your glasses and things like that. I don't really know because I don't have glasses. I don't know if there's something else you're supposed to show. But, you know, all the things that you think you might need, just bring them with you just in case. And you should be good to go. Now we're going to get to the video of me taking the actual test. We'll talk after. It, it, it was a process. First thing we're going to do is pull in parking. going to make a right. We're gonna go forward, make a right in between cones, make sure the rear end of the car clears. So there's two set of cones, got it? Mm -hmm. Any questions? Nope. Wait till I give you the signal. Now 
next maneuver we're going to do is three point turnabout. We're going to go forward, make a right inside the area, staying close to the right side as possible. Make your three point turnabout inside the boundary. Do not exit, put your car in park, and wait for further instruction. All right, going okay. in these cones, right? Not the cones, the curve. That's the boundary. Okay. So you're going to go forward, make a right, staying close to the right side. Make your three point turnabout inside the boundary. Do not exit, put your car in park. All right. Any questions? Nope. Wait until I give you the instruction to go. Okay, so this bit right here, like after that portion of driving is the part where I failed. So I'm going to show you first what she said, then we'll go through what I did. And yeah. Listen again. I want you to exit to the right, follow the course around. And then of course you make a left, and then the park over there on the far left. Okay. Left. Take the course around, and then you can make a left, and then go and then park on the far left where all those signs are. I want you to park in the front of the sign. Got it? All right. Let's go. So I'm supposed to follow the course around, make a left at an intersection, and this is what I did. I'm gonna show you guys what I did. So I make this first right. We get to the stop sign. I don't know if you call this spot right here an intersection or what. I'm pretty sure it's called an intersection. But I stop here. I make the first left. And around here, she never said go right. She said, follow the course around, but apparently she wanted me to park over here in front of these signs, but she didn't say go right. So I never went right. I followed the course around and got hecka confused. And now I'm over here and I'm like, okay, there's no exit point over here or anything. So I'm sitting here for like, I don't know, two seconds. And I'm like, okay, I must not be in the right spot. So I go turn around, drive back up there. I said something like, where do I go or something like that? And then she points as if, eh, it's too late. She's probably already going to fail me. Actually, she did. She says it. Where's the port? Right here. Okay. But anyways, so she told me to go over here. I went and parked and she came up to the car and told me why I failed. I'm going to skip to that part. I, I couldn't see, it's my fault. Yeah, so uh, make another appointment. Take the test again. Make sure you, if you don't understand something, you have to 
Mm. So, she just said, oh, you failed, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I should have asked her. As if I'm supposed to know to stop at this first stop sign and wait for you to ask you when I thought I was just following your directions. So, what she should have told me was make this first right to leave, make a left, make a right, then make another left to park in that little area. Because you're make a right, make a left at the intersection and follow the course around is what I did. And I failed to follow instructions. Unless that stop sign is not the intersection. And this part is. So, someone correct me if I'm wrong. This stop sign, doesn't intersection mean when you enter like traffic? So that would be here at the left that she told me to take. Remember she told me to go left. Can't go right here, failed. So you make a left and she didn't say go right. So this test was rigged, <laughs> bruh. Okay, well, I've already scheduled my next appointment. Hopefully that one goes better or whatever, or I don't know, it's really dumb. You guys let me know in the comments who was wrong, me or her. I'm probably wrong, I don't know. I'm I'm just a kid, you know, so let's just blame it on the kid. But I should have been told make a left, make a right, and make a left. Those were not the directions, so that's not what I follow. So, you know. And that was that. So I'm gonna end the video here. You guys won't see the rest of that like i'm not gonna edit it um but yeah so hopefully you guys learn uh this is also a covid test so it's like they're not in the car you're not actually driving on the road you're just parking in a parking lot honestly and then apparently you're being tested on someone giving you directions so Oh, did I mention there's no signs on this street? There's no signs in their little parking lot. There's this stop sign. And after that, there's nothing. There's my dad standing there with the camera. And after that, there's nothing. There's no exit, no park. There's nothing. And she said, follow the course around. I'm thinking this is an exit. And so I'm following the course and I get confused. Also, don't think I went the right day on this street. Did I? Because I made a left turn. Eh, I probably did go the wrong way. I don't know. This street's marked weird because the stop sign's here. So maybe. I don't know. That's not important. That's not even where I was supposed to go wherever um but yeah that's the end of the video you guys do better than i did make your three-point turns you're reversing you're pulling and you're pretty much good to go i did all those she didn't say anything about them so i would have passed if she would have said go right and then make a left but her directions were garbage so her directions are garbage and there's no signs. Wait, what does that sign say? Do not enter without permission. And of course, I didn't see that. Oh, wait. Oh, without examiner. I'm stupid. Okay, so then I'm fine. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I should have passed because her directions were rigged. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, guys.
Um, if you want to update with my second appointment, I'll make one. Just let me know. Um, and yeah. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.